morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel it's saturday the 23rd of july 2022 and today for the first time this season we're off back to national stadium it's gateshead versus harrogate town in a friendly So here I'm in Gateshead, uh, decided to get off the train at QF today because basically I don't have as much time as I normally would and uh, it's not too dissimilar walking distance from QF to National Stadium as it is from Newcastle Central so uh, decided to uh, get off there because obviously the train does stop there first quite a few minutes before it does get into Newcastle so that's the reason behind that and uh, yeah, the train was absolutely packed for some reason, so I had to basically charge my way through the carriage just to get to the door. But anyway, uh, last season, Harrogate finished 19th in League 2, and uh, I think for them now, would have probably, I think, personally, think they're the sort of club that aren't really going to go any higher, or certainly not any time soon. Um, but they've had an okay pre-season, I'd say. I, I know, I think it, I think they beat Huddersfield, I think it was. So that's a pretty impressive result. And uh, the other night, they drew with Barnsley. And uh, I think they might have got beat off Sheffield Wednesday, something like that, I'm not too sure. But uh, sounds though they're preparing okay. And uh, yeah, as for us, uh, obviously we were beaten 1-0 at Heaven the other night in that blazing heat all up and today I tell you what it is notably cooler I mean very considerably cooler um, so hopefully that'll mean uh, obviously playing on a on a slicker pitch and things like that we'll be able to get some proper rhythm going and I imagine we'll play a basically full strength team today I know the Aaron Martin's expected to get his first game obviously the player we got from Harrogate um, so yeah it'll be a good test for us today I think what Harrogate will provide today will be not too dissimilar to what we'll face when it comes to coming up against teams that are likely to be at the top end of the National League table so it'll be a good indicator of where we're at, I mean, uh, bearing in mind that Harrogate's league season starts next week, they'll be, you'd expect them to be a bit further ahead in terms of match sharpness and uh, look and see what sort of team they want to put out for their first league game of the season. But as long as we can come away from this, the um, like results are going to be able to say right away, there was this to be positive about and that to be positive about, then, uh, then honestly, that would do me. Uh, yeah, let's head to the International Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. Here we are then, things you'll never get bored of looking at. So, as well as it being the first and possibly only home friendly of the summer, it is also new shirt day. Um, this one has caused a bit of a stir considering that it's basically grey um, when the traditional colours of the club are black and white. But, if there is one plus side to it, it means that I don't need to do a separate a separate wash for this anymore considering I don't really have that many white clothes as it is so every cloud has its silver lining and that but yeah uh, I don't mind it I reckon it'll, it'll grow on me over time I reckon but still got to do what you got to do on you Right, so the team's warming up, uh, Gates said are uh, getting ready down here and this afternoon we are going to be in the new home strip 
As for Harrogate, they are getting ready in a far distance over there. And in their team this afternoon is former Gateshead Loney, Luke Armstrong, who became something of an instant hero when he uh, burst through against Salford uh, three seasons ago, then stuck in the bottom corner. There you come. Arm run the way. Disaster season has another turn. That was shocking, that. Half time gets at nil, Harrogate's on to uh, we urgently need a new centre half. Um, it was an obvious weakness last season, we don't seem to have or not done anything about it. And uh, going into the league, we're going in, that's a real cause for concern, in my honest opinion. I mean, both of their goals are just also oh, simple for the players that scored them. Um, I mean, going forward, we've had like the time has been pretty route one which is not really awesome I and mean, I don't know why that is but a lot of long balls and nobody getting on the end of them but uh, in terms of if there is any positives I can take from that half um, Ethan Pye uh, looks like he's got a lot of determination about him which is what you always like to see and uh, once again really impressed with Dan Ward I mean I'm calling it now that he'll be our player of the year um, but See so how second half goes, but uh, this really hasn't been my pre-season. Keep it up. Defensive mistake. For Pony hit it. Time gets at one, Harrogate Town three. Uh, for look at on the positive sides of today, I thought in the first half, as I mentioned, I think at half time, Ethan Pye did look pretty good, uh, he looked very determined, which is something you always like to see. Then, uh, I think played all right in the second half. And I think when Aaron Martin came on, he gave us a, like 
a, a bit of what we were actually missing up front um but i think in terms of the overall display today i think uh we we're basically bullied by harrogate weren't we like that's probably the best way you can put that i mean don't get me wrong it's maybe sort of to be expected uh, obviously harrogate are in league two and uh very evidently there for a reason and i think they'll do okay in league two this year i mean i don't think there'll be anything special but uh they certainly i certainly can't see them being in any real bother at the wrong end of the table but uh I think, I think for us as well, uh, the passing as the passing was a bit off today. Like, um, we seem to give the ball away loads and things like that. Um, but where do we go from here? Well, uh, I think for a start, we do need to get another friendly sorted for next week, even if it's playing Hebben again or playing against either Newcastle, Sunderland, or Middlesbrough on the 23s, I think we just do need something just so we can get that bit of match sharpness to go into the new league campaign with and uh, I'm not going to lie, I do think we need a new centre-half because uh, I just think um, just in terms of a centre-half, I think we need someone that's um, like, like no, probably need someone that's maybe what, in their mid twenties or something like that. Um, just just someone that's uh, that's probably they can't really say that that's probably sort of coming maybe towards the prime and and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it weren't all bad today. Like in the day, Harry get our League Two team. And I've got to remember that, but. Um, but yes, certainly there are issues that need resolving. But anyway, that is that for this video. And I'll be back on Tuesday night with Stokesley Sports Club v Darlington Railway Athletic. So until then, take care and I'll see you later.